I heard about this event um, by accident. I was recently diagnosed with MS, and so I was in a state where I was kind of lost for a little while, not knowing what I wanted to do or just kind of got out of the groove of running and being active. Um, so my wife said, you know, you got to get back to running. And I was just scrolling through Instagram and this came up as uh, Ultra Run the US. And I thought, wow, for MS, it just was kind of a perfect coming together. Everybody I told it was a little hard to grasp what this event was about. Um, I think every time I said, you know, 220 miles, people said, well, who, how many people are running that distance? Or how many people are in the van with you? Or are you just trading off like every five miles? Uh, or it's 26 miles a day. A lot of people just say, oh, you're doing a marathon. It, not realizing that it was multiple days. Um, so I think it's hard to grasp how much running this is. I'm incredibly fortunate that I don't have any symptoms or issues that are holding me back at this stage. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm one of the fortunate ones. I don't like to put myself in the context of being somebody with MS because I've seen my mom who had MS, which was a much worse version of MS than what I have. Their MS is a disease that has many many shapes and forms from very mild to very severe and I'm on the very mild. Dealing with my mom's diagnosis, it's all I've ever known. I grew up, my mom had MS, just didn't know any different. It just it was always a part of our life. So I guess we just dealt it as normal until we got older and then her passing is when it kind of affected all of us that it, it's not, it's bad. So what I hope my mom would say about this event, I, I just hope she would be proud of doing something and, you know, putting yourself out there, trying to do good and helping others. Uh, what she would probably say is I'm nuts and I shouldn't do it is what she probably would say. Just <laughs> Pretty much, I got into running when my mom passed in 2011. And it's just been something I've just kept pushing to go farther and farther distances. So um, I always had this vision of running 100 miles before I turned 50. Having my brother by my side, it, it, it's how we've grown up. We've always done everything together. So having him by my side for something like this is huge. Um, he's always been super supportive. Um, Hopefully he thinks the same of me, that when, if he needed me or needed something, I'd be there to support him. For me, knock on wood, I don't have any heart effects or I don't see any negative side effects. But watching others, it's tough. Watching what happened to my mom was really tough. Uh, looking back on it, she was amazing. I mean, what she was able to do and be there for me and my brother, I didn't know half of what she was going through at the time. Looking back on it, I, I could see how much she hurt and how much she struggled. And that, that's painful. She's in my head the whole time, whether it's actively thinking about her. Um, it, it, it's all about her for this. She had MS. She's the reason that I want to do this. Yeah, I got diagnosed with it and I needed something to do, but I've always knew it was for my mom. Yeah, MS has been my whole life. It took my mom away from us way too soon. My belief is it took my dad away from us too soon. Just the stress of dealing with mom and the MS and raising two kids. My dad took all that on his shoulders, so MS took took my parents from me.
it made our family super strong. And I think that's why me and my brother are so tight and close. But it wasn't easy. And what I would tell someone that has MS is you're stronger than the disease. Don't let it change who you are as a person, uh, even if it's changing you physically.